taking his time at this real place as the crowd's getting very edgy. Four runs off six balls. Well, start the short bit off. Four runs off five balls. He's got to go for it. Simon Adal comes down to have a chat. Run for anything, son. You don't run me out. That's what he'll be saying because he's the key to it. He's got to get up that end. And he's got to get a multiple, a two or a three or a four. Campbell could afford the score. He'll go over the top. He's going to drop any back. No, he's not. He's getting another man in. The mid wicket's coming into. Watch him. He's coming to short cover. So there's now a man going to gully, point, short cover, mid off, mid on, short mid wicket, square leg, deep fine leg, and a deep third man. Touchdown fine leg for Seymour. They got all strike. And they Now where's he going to place his field? He can't keep the same field. Surely to goodness he can't keep the same field. Or he'll be committing suicide. Well, that is strange. He hasn't got anybody up for Simon O'Donnell. Yes, one's dropping down now. The mid-on's dropping down to wrong on. That's the right of screen in front of the member stand. He's pushing the square leg down to deep four square legs. So there's three men on the onside. And now the gully is coming across to the onside. Army and Malik going to backward square leg. So anyone's going to angle this into Simon Adol's pads. Probably go for the Yorker. Way to win. Price, he's got in, he's come. Oh, what a finish. Everyone gets sung out of the LBW with three runs for victory. The end of a fine inning, three balls to be bowled, three runs, and Carl Rackham will make his way to the wicket. What a finish, what a match. Carl doesn't want to go. He's getting advice from all quarters. Fine innings from Simon O'Donnell, out to 39. In the final over, taking his time at the field place, and even slowed the game down. But so they don't hit him across the line. Judge W.W. for 39. The ball seemed to straighten a little bit. He was well back. And up by Peter McConnell. Well, he's given a couple. And at a crucial stages, so I don't mind that sort of umpiring. The longest walk ever for Carl Rackman. Took about a minute and a half to put his gloves on. I don't think he can afford to have all the field up for Carl Rackman either because he certainly will have to swing. Try and put back to ball. Smack it over cover, hit it anywhere. 24,000 people here on the edge of their seats. And big Carl, his mouth beginning dry by the second as he takes guard. Well, the last time Carl Rackman would have been involved in a situation like this was back in 83 84 in Melbourne against the West Indies. And he got run out off the last ball to create a tie. Well, can describe this field placing at the moment because they're going everywhere. There's a third man, a point, short cover, mid off on the offside. There's the three inside the circle on the onside. There's a mid on, short mid wicket, backward square leg, and a deep front leg and a deep mid wicket. Emran Khan, Carl Rackman. Swing and a miss. Oh, the pressure mounts. Wasn't a good delivery. Wasn't a good shot. Well, the style was there, wasn't any contact. What a match. Dear, oh dear. Two balls to be bowled by Imran Khan. 37 years of age, a veteran. And the leading wicket takers in one day internationals. He's not sure himself. Drops back mid off. I'm going to see the two. He won't be all the way to the fence. The pressure really on the outfielders here. They go through for the second run. 20 metres behind the line. In comes Imran Khan. Reckon and Queen Bowl by Imran. One ball to be bowled. Two runs for victory, and it's going to be the veteran Terry Alden to face the music. What a finish. Beautifully bowled by Imran. Got the ball right up in there, just flicking the pads, and Carl Rackman had the chance to whip it away. It wasn't good enough. Flicked the pad and ricocheted onto the stumps. Nine for two, one, eight. Three runs. A victory, two runs for a tie. It's a replay and a tremendous ovation for Terry Alderman. 25,000 people at the City Cricket Ground. It's up to you, Ronnie. It's up to Terry Alderman, Bill.
Up to Terry Alderman, unless of course Simran bowls a no ball or a wide, and I can't see that happening. Terry is not the best batsman in the world. He's got to get bat on ball, he's got to get a nick, he's got to get something, and they've got to get two runs. And Inman's going to drop them in back to three quarter way to the fence, which is the obvious thing to do. That's at four inside the circle. And unfortunately we have a bit of disturbance, but we won't worry too much about that. And the police quickly on the job. One ball to be bowled, three runs, as Imran has to keep four men inside the circle. This is a great rule. So there's four men inside, the rest to be three quarters away to the fence, trying to cut the shot if there's any, down to at least two runs. It'll be a tie. I'm just trying to think where Terry can score here. He's not a great driver, he's not a great cutter. His highest score is nine not out, so he certainly got the ability to score runs. Don't know how many balls that was off. But even when Terry slogs and connects, he doesn't seem to get them too far away from the wicket. And what a wonderful over by the Pakistan captain. The final over. As you're saying, one run, he's pointing his finger to all these fields now. Especially on some people's faces, worth going 2,000 miles to see. The tension is electric. And it's been one of the longest overs ever. It's been going for about 10 minutes now. And a team meeting between Alderman and Campbell. He can't look. Was an Akram not playing this match at the door. It'll be two in a row here at the City Cricket Band for Pakistan if they win this match as Alderman takes guard. And the card on the Pakistan manager. He's been in his field in a couple of faces at deep mid wicket. Fine leg still on the fence, third man still on the fence. As Edward comes in for the final delivery. Where is Jarvin? Oh, the 12th man, Shohei Mohammed's coming out on the field. There was a message, he's been sent back. <laughs> That's all happening at the Sydney Cricket Ground. There's nobody at Midwick. Last delivery from Inman to Terry Alderman. And he's missed it. So it's all over. Great victory for Pakistan, over real quickly now by two runs. So Australia and Dubai, not out for 218, chasing 221 for victory. And the first final starts at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. جی ناظرین کیسی لگی آپ کو ہماری آج کی ویڈیو اس طرح کی مزید اچھی ویڈیوز دیکھنے کے لیے ہمارے چینل کو سبسکرائب کریں شکریہ